video is going to be all about fall fashion and early fall styles that you can start shopping for now. Like a lot of people, <laughs> I'm definitely the type of person that likes to hang on to summer for as long as possible. However, I feel like we all reach a certain point in the fashion department where we get tired of the current season clothing and we start to get excited for the next. And that time is now. So the stores are really starting to trickle out new fall fashion and I'm starting to get really excited to swap out all of my bright, <laughs> bright colors for some cozy knits and some comfy cashmeres and just generally swapping out like my bright whites for some warm beiges and maybe some light browns and that sort of thing. So I went shopping at Soho, <laughs> aka right around the corner from my new apartment, which I just can't believe that that's a true statement <laughs> that I can say that. But I went to three stores. So I went to, uh, well, first I went to Saison, uh, Zara, and, and other stories. I also did go into H&M, but I just didn't really get inspired by anything in H&M right now. I think further down the line, maybe they'll start to bring up some more fall stuff, but there wasn't anything quite yet that I thought was was good for a, for a whole video on it, you know? Also, I haven't really seen as much fall styles on ASOS yet, but definitely in a future video, we're going to do a fall ASOS haul, and I'm very excited for that. But yeah, so those are the three stores that I thought kind of had some fun, fun early fall styles to share. So the first one is Cezanne, and oh, I just love this store. It's such like an effortlessly cool girl, chic, like Parisian style. And I think that their quality is really good. So everything is like very well made, very good quality fabrics. And if you shop classic styles, you could have pieces for a long time. So ooh, I'm just like undoing the tissue paper here. So on the note of pieces that are classic styles that you'll have in your closet for a long time, this classic knit. This is called the Gaspard jumper. It's a very classic style of theirs. They have it in six different colors and this is the type of thing that will definitely keep you warm. It's very cozy. The color that I chose here is called camel so it's a very light, sort of like a light medium brown and I feel like it's just a very classic fall kind of color style and this tone can go with so many other, I guess it's just kind of like a classic fall sort of tone. I feel like everyone should own a fall sweater in this color. So this is, as you can see, a long, uh, long sleeve, about three quarter length. When I wear it, I like to kind of bring it up at the sleeves a tiny bit. And what I thought was great about this is the fact that it's kind of a nod towards the cardigan trend that's happening right now because it has these mother of pearl buttons down down it in the front or the back so you could actually wear this you know with the buttons in the front or you could also turn it around and do the buttons in the back which is also a really cool style right now. And I don't know, something about this sweater, like when I put it on, it just made me feel like I looked smart and like, I just got, I don't know, I got this picture of kind of like a smart kind of like college student, like wearing this in the library with glasses on and studying <laughs> and you know, the, the fall leaves are falling out the window and they're sitting in, I don't know. <laughs> I just thought that it was really cute and definitely a classic piece that I think I will have for years to come. And then I paired it with these trousers. These are called the Clara trousers in Ecru slash camel. And yeah, I just love, they're high-waisted. They have a zipper down the side and they come to about your ankle. They kind of lengthen your silhouette. They're made of cotton, but they don't, you wouldn't guess that because it's a very thick sort of nice material and it feels a little bit, not fuzzy, but it just feels like it would be warm, like you would definitely be warm in these in the winter or the fall. And it has this like houndstooth pattern on it, so again, uh, I guess just maybe like a preppier style, I don't know, but also makes me feel smart. <laughs> if you 
like me are not a huge fan of wearing jeans every day and you want to switch it up this is a really good option for that especially since it is in this lighter beige tone and yeah i think that these would be really cute if you like loafers i think that pairing these with loafers would be really nice uh or any flat i probably personally i don't i don't really wear, wear loafers as much but i would probably do like a nice uh new toned ballet flat with these and i just think that they're really cute together <laughs> Oh, also, so the website that says that if you're in between sizes, you should size down, but I, in my experience, actually disagree with that because I am tried and true always pretty much a size two in bottoms, so like pants or skirts or shorts, but these are actually a size four. When I tried to put the two on, it was like squeezing. I couldn't even zip them up. So yeah, so I, I went with a four, so I would say um, maybe size up one in these. And also with the sweater, I am always a size medium in tops, but this is actually an extra small. So I would say definitely go down a size or two in the sweater. So from and other stories, I also got a full outfit. So starting with this skirt, as you can see, this is plaid, and plaid is very in this season. We're seeing it on blazers, on trousers, on skirts, dresses, everything. And same with this one. What I loved about this was that it is plaid, but it's that like brown tied in with beige, tied in with, it's hard to see on camera, but it's actually a light pink. And this is made out of wool, so it's like very soft. You know that this will keep you warm, especially if you're wearing a mini skirt. You know at least it'll keep you warm because it, it is made of wool. I just love wearing mini skirts in the winter. I like to do them with tights, not necessarily black tights. It could be like nude tights or, um, you know, like high, um, like high, high boots to also keep you warm. So yeah, I think that it's so cute and I love that it just goes in with that plaid trend. And it has pockets. Not like you'd really use the pockets that much, but if your hands were really cold, you could put them in. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> and so I paired it with this pink wrap sweater. So this is a, a nice light pink that I thought matched perfectly with the skirt. Like this just to me looks like such a cute, perfect fall color combination. And yeah, it's kind of like a muted pink, almost like a mauve sort of pink. And it has these puff, puff sleeves at the shoulder, which for me, my body shape is actually an inverted triangle. So, you know, emphasizing the shoulders doesn't really help me out very much, but obviously if you're not an inverted triangle, you don't have to worry about that, of course. I thought that this was one of the only sweaters that I would actually like to wear over the skirt rather than tucked into the skirt and i like that option because it gives you more flexibility where if you're like eating lunch or something you don't have to feel like you're sucking in afterwards because it covers you up i thought that it was also cute and like something that was cute and different and a little bit unexpected because i feel like you know with a skirt like this obviously anyone would pair it with maybe a turtleneck or any sort of sweater and tuck it in and i think that that would be really cute and that's probably what i will do is pair it with some other sweaters or turtlenecks that i own as well i feel like it's very versatile but if you want to be different than everyone else and like set a new trend <laughs> i guess i don't know uh i thought that this was cool to kind of actually put it over the skirt so that was my thinking there and i love this it just anything that's like a pink sort of a little bit of a crop with a tie around it to me just feels like a very sort of ballerina style which is so my style i did ballet for many years and i just love like the pink like ballet sort of style even in the fall and winter so if you like that too um you probably like this sweater <laughs> and then lastly from zara i got this polka dot skirt which is just really fun as you can see it's this really fun sort of loud pattern i actually went into zara three different times and every time i like looked at the skirt but i didn't buy it and then finally when i went in with my friends last weekend i bought it i was like okay i've been thinking about it long enough and yeah i just love that it's this fun super girly like ruched detail it has the frills at the bottom and it also kind of all gathers in at the side here which just gives it a nice sort of flattering shape and a nice silhouette um as far as mini skirts go it isn't that many you know it's a little bit long so i feel like something like this is is appropriate to wear to work if you are going into the office 
I of course will not be because I'll be working from home until gosh um, you know my, my company hasn't announced when we're going back yet at all so um, it could be a while for me however when I do get out I will be wearing this skirt and I just think that it is so 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 cute I love that it's a beige things like this I think that you can wear in the fall and the winter if it was you know like this this color white like that's something different that's that's very summery but this color this beige this off-white I think is totally appropriate for fall and winter so that's what I love about it and I actually paired it with this top from Topshop which is an off-white square neck top I feel like with this skirt you could probably wear it with any um, white top that you have be it a turtleneck a top like this or even I was actually thinking a plain white button down with like the top two buttons undone would be really cute so if you have one of those uh, that could also be really cute with it so it's very versatile and yeah, this is like an off-white <clears throat> top. This reminded me, the reason why I got this was because it reminded me of that top from a brand called Kate that I have talked about on my channel a little bit before. And it felt like a dupe for that. Obviously that top I did not buy because it's like hundreds of dollars for one top. But this is a nice alternative and it does look sort of a very similar style. It's a nice thick material too, so you know you'll definitely be warm in the winter and yeah I thought that that was just a really cute combination <laughs> all right so that is it I really hope that you enjoyed this video and that you're also getting excited for the change of seasons and the change of some into some fall fashion styles like I said I definitely love summer but something about it I feel like you, we always just get excited at the start of a new season and kind of like to jump ahead and get a head start and I love just planning my outfits and sort of picturing, you know, being cozy and when it's snowing outside or the fall leaves are falling but I'm inside in like a cozy knit, probably eating mac and cheese. <laughs> I don't know, but yeah, I uh, hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, definitely don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and uh, hit the bell. <laughs> Also make sure to check out my Instagram for more like daily updates and daily outfit inspiration. So it's called The Fashion Squirrel. And then also if you like to see kind of like more outfit inspiration, also follow me over on the Like to Know It app because you can kind of just easily shop any of the styles that I show or anything that I wear in YouTube or Instagram or anywhere. And then what else? Oh, I also have a blog. <laughs> and then TikTok, and I think that that's everything. Hopefully, I will see you guys next time. All right, bye.